Hello everyone. Today Kaylor Kirk rides to Winslow, Arizona for the Two Broke for Sturgis bike event. This event runs July 27th through July 30th. Looks like I'm all packed up, ready to go. Just need to stop for gas. My trip today will take me from El Mirage, Arizona to Winslow, Arizona via taking I-17 north out of Phoenix all the way to Camp Verde, Arizona is where I'll exit. I'll travel east on Arizona 260 connecting to Arizona 87 heading northeast through the Coconino National Forest and back to the desert to bring me to Winslow, Arizona. Right now we're heading out of Phoenix. It's still like about 110 degrees out here. It is hot. Um, it's just like riding on a furnace right now on the freeway. Um, yeah, I want to give you guys let you know too that you will be following videos. I'm doing Thursday through Sunday with each of its own video. So every day is going to be an update from what's going on at the uh, Two Broke for Sturgis. I'll do a day by day video. So once you get through this video, we wouldn't look for the next video online and then uh, you'll get a count of what's going on Monday through Sunday when I drive home on Sunday.
Okay, so this is what I'm looking forward to. Finally getting through the Coconino Forest. Where it's nice and cool. I didn't think I was going to make it anymore through that heat. It must have dropped about 15, 20 degrees just going through the forest here. Um, as I'm driving through the forest, I can still smell um, like burnt charcoal. They've had recently had some forest fires going through here. Uh, so it's, you can smell the air. And then up ahead, looks like there might be some clouds coming in soon. But for right now, I'm really enjoying this ride. It's beautiful going through the uh, forest here. Right above me, I've got some nice blue skies and cl white clouds. And just kind of enjoy this ride. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, so there's my turnoff to Arizona 87. It's going to head me northeast through the rest of the Coconino National Forest. Once I come out of the forest, I'll be going back through some desert. Uh, this will take me right into Winslow, Arizona. My final destination is going to be the rodeo grounds that's over by the airport. That's where Two Broke for Sturges is being held this year. It's over the rodeo grounds. So. Let's head on. Okay, great. So I was complaining about being too warm, uh, too hot. So I guess somebody decided to pour rain on me now. So I'm going through a bunch of rain for like the last 10, 15 minutes here. Uh, yeah, it's nice, but it's coming down so hard it's pelting me. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. So hopefully this will ease up soon and get some more dry weather here real quick.
Okay, yay, I made it. I'm at the rodeo grounds. All I gotta do now is check in. This is Thursday, so Thursday is check-in day. Not really much activities going on, just people starting to come in, and get settled up. And uh, so let's go ahead and go through the process here and I'll get all signed in. The online thing, but I didn't know else if you just wanted to do it. Yeah, if you've already registered, you still have to check in. You got it. I need to get this in gear. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do a little quick ride through. Um, like I said, most everybody's coming in today, setting up their camps, their little tents, setting up their giant trailers, giant generators, uh, bringing their bikes in. Uh, so I'm going to roll through here and just kind of give you a quick ride around a little bit. Then I'm off to my uh, hotel. My reservation's over at La Posada in downtown Winslow. Uh, that should be ready for me soon, so I'm going to head over there next and get all checked in. So let's check this place out first. Here I am at La Posada Resort. This is my room for the next three days. Really nice beds and very clean room. First off, you should know that there's no phones in any of the rooms. If you need to talk to the front desk, you'll need to walk across the resort to get to the front desk. Second, you'll not find very many electrical outlets in the rooms. La Posada was open in May of 1930. Did not need to charge your phone or computer back then. Not a lot of call for electrical outlets for elect electronic devices in 1930. La Posada Resort sits on 11 acres and has beautiful gardens all around it. Be warned though, right behind La Posada Resort is an active train station. Yes, it does run all day and all night. I hope you like trains. I like the old feeling of this resort. I'll do a walk around slideshow tour tomorrow. Okay, getting hungry after riding all day. Let's take a walk down the street to find a bite to eat. I found a Relic Road Brewery. Great food and beer selections. Um, I opted for a cold iced tea myself. I had the Reuben sandwich with fries. It's very tasty. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to the bike fest. Too broke for Sturgis.
All right, just got back to the rodeo grounds. Cool band playing. Uh, the band plays until late in the evening. Uh, it's really been fun here, and I'm enjoying it. But man, I'm getting pretty tired pretty fast. So I think I'm gonna, it's time for me to go back to the hotel and get rested up for tomorrow. Big day on Saturday. It's supposed to be a lot of things going on. Looking forward to it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Too broke for Sturgis. <laughs>